Hello and welcome to my new video. My name is Raida Boost and in this brief video we take a look how to install Autodesk InfraWorks 2022. But let's first uh, take a look what InfraWorks is and then we move forward with installation. InfraWorks is a application which enables you to combine different data sources and basically it is used for context type modeling tasks and it may uh, show you some kind of preliminary study and then you move forward with detailed design but it can be used also some smaller areas maybe just an intersection maybe just a residential area new building area new built area whatever the task will be but the good thing is that uh, you can start with infoworks uh, from any location meaning that um, you can grab some base data in terms of elevation, also some buildings and road network. And then you start to add extra layers or extra data sources. For example, in here I'm having a university campus area and uh, this is already changed or modeled version because I have had uh, different additional layers. But usually when I start from scratch, then my model could look like uh, similar to this. I do have buildings, but they are maybe not correct shape. Maybe they are not with correct elevation or height value. This can be changed and you will change it um, once you develop uh, different proposals. And uh, those proposals can actually include different data sources, as I mentioned already. For example, if you are not satisfied with the elevation data, you can regenerate this elevation surface based on some LiDAR point cloud. And once you do that, you can then build on top of it some road network using uh, dynamic tools. And uh, this road network is parametric and you can easily change it according to some uh, road standard. And once you have finished, let's say, a preliminary task, meaning that maybe you have uh, generated your existing look and feel, then obviously you can do a new proposal which consider a new intersection or something else, what you plan to do. It's a crate for preliminary design and different types of analyses. You can see many analyses um, are included already into InfraWorks. And for example, you can even build some new look for your intersection, which doesn't have any more a roundabout, but maybe some kind of bridge. Very simple example, but uh, this can be developed further in different other packages. For example, you can export now this data into Civil 3D to carry out more detailed design for your road network. And you can also export your bridge, which is modeled uh, using real components of bridges. But you can export it into Revit and do detailed design in Revit. So we take a look also those different workflows in my later videos. But let's now focus back to installation. Obviously, the easiest way to install some Autodesk product is to just go to autodesk.com website. And then you can use some shortcut or just uh, find the product you need, for example, slash InfraWorks. And here we are. We can now start to download free trial. And later on, I can also activate my product if I do have a license key or if I want to subscribe. But you can always uh, use the product for 30 days for free, just to test it. Of course, as I shown you before, there are different ways how you can download. You can also go to your Autodesk account if you are a current subscriber, manage.autodesk.com. If you are an educational user, then you have to start from educational portal. But once again, if you just want to test the product and uh, you care about activation at later steps, then the easiest way is probably to just to download free trial from autodesk.com main site and we will do that as well. You don't always have that kind of flexibility that you can pick different download methods. I have shown before that, uh, for example, I do prefer to download my products fully to my computer and then I start the installation. But quite often, if you start installation directly from Autodesk website, it may be installed as install now option, which means that, uh, yes, of course those files will be downloaded to your computer, but it's not probably so easy to reinstall the product because you should know 
to where those files are downloaded and how you can reinstall it. But let's do the installation and then we might go through also other options. You have to take care that uh, in terms of InfraWorks you can install only one version into a machine because I do already have IntraWorks installed in my machine, then I probably will see some kind of uh, warning that uh, I have to remove previous version and then I can install a new fresh one. But uh, let's play it through. I can see that uh, IntraWorks works, Windows 64-bit uh, machine. Also, you might check other system requirements. You do need quite good uh, graphics card. Also, you can see the estimated uh, file size that you will download. If I click next, then uh, I can select which kind of user I plan to be. As I said, I don't care right now. I want to have a trial and the easiest way to get the trial is uh, using a business user. Then I use uh, English and next. I then do have to have Autodesk account. I can create one if I don't have it. I can use already this account that I previously have created. And of course, I'm using my current account. But again, if you don't have it, you can create one. It's free to create and then you can use because Autodesk just wants to know who downloads the software. Okay, I hit next and then password, yeah, sign in. I have to fill in some additional data and then I have a button, begin download. So once again, I started from Autodesk main site right now. So I click begin download. I can see that uh, I first download web install.exe and this clearly indicates that actually I'm downloading quite a small part at first and during the installation additional components will be downloaded. So let's do that. I will include uh, some subfolder like so and I save it. It's only 8 megabytes and now once I double click on this exe file I have to agree that I want to open it Okay, I have to agree with license terms. I agree and uh, next. Then I can configure to where I want to install it. Default location is very good as well as for content. So I start installation, install. And yes, as I said, I can see a warning that um, I do already have one version of IntraWorks in my machine and uh, I have to uninstall previous versions of Autodesk InfraWorks. So I will cancel my installation, but I can use the same small file to fire up my installation again once I have deinstalled my previous version. So I cancel and I will open up my add or remove programs. I will search for InfraWorks. Here we are. I can see that it's previous version 21. I click uninstall, uninstall and will uninstall my Autodesk InfraWorks. Uninstall again and it should be quite quick, maybe a minute or two. Okay, my previous version has been uninstalled, so I click finish. I don't care about those other packages um, that include InfraWorks because those are just additional components. I can deal with them later. So I close my add remove dialog and then I can go back to my download, this eight megabyte file. I double click on it again. I do the same in terms of settings. So I agree with the license. Next, once again, where to install, content, install. And now it starts. And remember, it may take some time because currently I'm also downloading InfraWorks files during my installation. Usually InfraWorks installation is quite quick, but due to the option I selected right now, it may take some time. So let's wait once my installation has been finished and then we take a look how we can fire it up and how we can start using it. Once everything goes smoothly, then InfraWorks will be installed into a machine and you can also see a message that uh, it's now ready to run. And uh, obviously you can hit a start button directly. We take a moment once we do that because I also want to show you the location to where we downloaded those files. You can recall that uh, at first we were downloading very small file, which was about um, eight megabytes. But then the question is to where 
Additional files are downloaded which are used to install the Autodesk InfraWorks and it's a common location for all Autodesk web install based products and uh, the location is C drive, then Autodesk and then WI location. So if I open up this I can see that uh, all those folders that do have current date at what time I was installing the product are actually belonging to InfraWorks. And that is a key reason uh, that it's not so easy to reinstall the product because occasionally you may want to save some space and uh, you may want to delete those folders in your machine and once you start again the Autodesk InfraWorks web install then you have to download or re-download those files as well. A lot easier would be if you install the product through common location that okay you have downloaded all your files and then you just hit setup.exe. If you want to get uh, all files in one package that can be reused quite easily at later times as well, it's up to you of course, then you can use some additional locations from where you can download your product. And it's always a common way to do that uh, whatever Autodesk product we talk about. So before I start my InfraWorks, I want to go through also those different locations. For example, at first, if I'm a current user of uh, Autodesk, again, if I'm current user, if I'm a new user, then of course I don't have those files available set location. So manage.autodesk.com, if I have created my Autodesk account, then I can directly use it. But uh, if we talk about uh, subscription services or educational services, then those do get here after we have subscribed or after we have initialized those services. So for example, currently I'm logged in with the same account, which is educator account. And if I go to my all products and services, and because I have previous version of InfraWorks installed beforehand, it's activated. So if I scroll down and try to find InfraWorks from here, I can see that um, I do have 2022 release available also in here. But now the question is how do I get it into this location? Then currently the only way to do that is that uh, you start. Once we talk about educational users, we start from autodesk.com and education. You log in again with the same account, your student educator account, and then you can see that yes, you are logged in. You select students or educator, then you scroll down, you can see a button, get products. Then you have to confirm your eligibility, which is based on some student ID or educator ID. So you have to ensure that step goes well. I hit sign in. I should see a message that yes, my account is validated. Currently you didn't see any additional step required because I have already activated it. But please do remember if you are planning to use uh, educational version then you have to confirm that with extra step. And sometimes it may need to upload uh, some proof that you are student educator. Now if you are confirmed then you have to confirm that uh, you want to use InfraWorks from this list. So if I select get product, then I can install or download. Also, if I select download, then uh, I can see that uh, I'm currently doing a browser based download. And this browser based download will download actually multiple files. And I have to be extra careful to download both or maybe even three or four files. Otherwise I can't extract those. But I was doing this extra step, not, not exactly install or download, but I was doing that extra step in terms of get product because only then this product will be recognized at my account and it will be included into my manage.autodesk.com and then I can use this product with my Autodesk account as well. Because InfraWorks is actually today at least uh, uh, 2022 release, it is uh, one of those products that can be used only if you log in and uh, your account does have access to this product. So the activation is not through serial key, but it's uh, based on sign in. 
And also, if you are a commercial user, then your account, your username account, you get uh, activation based on your account email. It's usually company's IT manager who will probably assign InfraWorks to your account and then you can use it in the same way. So once this step has been clarified, we can now move forward and let's see how we can fire up our InfraWorks. My InfraWorks has been installed. I can see an icon also at my desktop or if I search it from my list of other applications. And in all of those ways, I can fire my InfraWorks. I click start and I will get an help page. So my browser window opens. I can minimize this again. I can see a welcome message, continue. And I can also see that uh, I have direct access to my product. So I have made anything yet, but I can see that I'm logged in. And this is because I have had a previous version installed and uh, it was recognized that uh, I'm logged in, I'm a user of that product and that's the reason why I can start using the product. But let's now um, pretend that uh, I'm not yet logged in. So I sign out, sign out and quit, continue. Of course, Autodesk InfraWorks will close down and let's fire up my Autodesk InfraWorks again. I can directly see that uh, I have to sign in and uh, if you want to use your Autodesk InfraWorks as a trial version, your 30 days or so, then you still have to have Autodesk account and you will use that. For example, if I'm using a different account in where I don't have such user rights, also password and sign in, then I can see a message that uh, do I want to start a trial or if I want to subscribe, then I hit buy now, or maybe I just used the wrong account and then I can go and re-log in with different account. So if I click start trial, then I am start using the product with this specific account for 30 days. And at any time, of course, uh, I can subscribe or I can reconnect to the product with different account, meaning that, uh, okay, maybe I was using my personal account and then uh, I get a license from a company and I can use then different account with that license. If I close this window, I have full access to the product up to 30 days and I simply can start using it. Currently, I'm going back to my educational account. So I will log out and I will close my InfraWorks. I will start it again. I have to sign in and now I'm using my activated student educator account in where I have my InfraWorks ready to be used. Password, sign in. And now you can see that I don't have any trial message because I'm correctly confirmed to be able to use that product, that version, and I can start using InfraWorks. And as a final step of this video, let's take a look uh, how we can start to do something in InfraWorks. As I showed you at the beginning, then um, you can establish a kind of context to your next project very easily, which means that um, you generate a existing conditions model through Model Builder. Yes, you can start from scratch and uh, by doing it, then you start building your model through available data that's available in your machine usually, yes. But you can start using Model Builder and in that case, you are selecting the location from what you want to generate your model. As I can see, because I'm currently in Estonia, my PC or computer shares my current location or at least uh, to some extent, and it will be zoomed into my current country, which is new in 2022, if I share those rights. And then I can zoom in to some specific location. For example, if I want to focus on to the same area, university campus, then I can easily select this area and generate a preliminary model. I can also give model name and description, and I can also assign coordinate system. This coordinate system is very important once you start exporting your InfraWorks model into Civil 3D. In previous versions, you usually assign the coordinate system at later step, but now you can do that straight away 
and you can select your country specific coordinate system. For example, for Estonia, it will be Estonia 97.estonia. I click OK. You can search also those different uh, coordinate systems. Once you create this model, then you can't change this coordinate system anymore. So for example, if I click a Taltec campus, maybe some description, and my model will be created full area, what I can see. There are different possibilities how you can generate your model or to what extent you want to generate your model. For example, you can also draw a rectangle and I can see that uh, this area will be about 2.5 square kilometers. There are maximum limits that you can generate your model. For example, if I zoom out and uh, try to generate a much bigger area, then I can see a message that uh, this area is too large and please select an area less than 200 square kilometers. Obviously, you will create model in that size that you really need. It doesn't make sense to just to include everything in the background if that's not important for you. So if you want to generate some model about your new intersection project, then you will zoom in into that location. You can also use some different drawing method. And one cute thing is also that you can use import a polygon. In that case, you generate this polygon. Again, it should be in the same coordinate system as you use in here, X and Y, yes. And uh, you generate it in some other software package, for example, Civil 3D using map export. And then you can import that polygon into this drawing area. For example, import shape file is supported and I select project and shapefile, both files. I hit open and then I can see that, okay, I will start to generate my model based on this area. In that way, I can do exact model area that I'm interested of. And once you generate this data, your preliminary model will be available at your desktop and you can open it up. So it may take time not too much, but uh, sometimes if you're using smaller models and maybe 10, 15 minutes, it also depends on uh, Autodesk servers. Are you using it at peak times? Then maybe it takes a bit more time. But usually, yeah, your preliminary model will be generated quite quickly. So if I add additional model name number maybe and I hit create model, then I get a message that it may take a few minutes Okay, that's fine. I can close this window, continue. I can also close this window and then I should, in a minute or so, I should get additional model into my recent section and then I can simply open it up. So let's wait a bit and then we come back to my previous model in where I have modeled already some additional roads, intersections, bridges and as such. Okay, I can see that uh, my preliminary model has been generated and it is available to download. I can also see special icons if those are only cloud models or if those are in my computer. Because this model is cloud model, I have to download it and then I can start adding up different other data. So let's download this model. Of course, this download may take some time because also some raster or image files will be downloaded as well and it all depends basically how good your internet is. And especially opening model first time takes a bit more time but it should be ready quite soon and then we can see what kind of data we get once we generate this existing conditions model. Now my InfraWorks full user interface will be loaded and also my model area which is 3 pi 4 kilometer area. 3 kilometer and 4 kilometer. So my image files will be downloaded and the first opening up takes some time. As I can already see, I have a full elevation model. For example, in this area, I can see some elevation data quite nicely. Yes, we have some higher ground. Then I do also have my road network and I can see that yes, in reality, in here, there is roundabout and it's quite good in terms of preliminary model. Of course, I can make it more precise using InfraWorks tools. 
and also my buildings. The shape of my buildings is uh, quite good, but uh, I can see that some buildings are not at correct elevation or the elevation itself or height of the building is not correct. But I can change that. I can start importing now different data using data sources tool and uh, this supports very extensive list of formats in terms of uh, 2D or 3D. By 2D I mainly mean raster but you can also include uh, GIS data, also building information modeling data, for example Autodesk Revit, IFC and as such. But you can also start creating a new design or making it better using create panel and adding roads, bridges, structures, also gravity pipe network. And once you do that, you can move forward and carry out different analyses. Also, you can see that uh, InfraWorks is very good in terms of um, visualization. So you can use InfraWorks to create uh, animations, camera animations mainly, but also keyframe based animations. You're not animating objects, but you can animate those if you are importing formats like 3D model. And if this 3D model has some animation generated, for example, in 3ds Max, then you can do that as well. But those animations are usually some local animations, yes? Meaning that in one specific location, something is happening. If you want to go back and open up some other model, then you can click on this eye icon, home, and you can then move forward and open up some different model. If you have used InfraWorks before, and if you have updated your InfraWorks version, then it is very important that uh, if you open up some previous model, it will be upgraded to the newest version. If this upgrade cannot be opened in previous versions, you can see a message that, uh, okay, do you want to upgrade a copy of this model? But once upgraded, which may take some time, then um, we can see the same model that I showed you before from scratch, yes. But in here, I do have some additional data. As said before, for example, I do have a new surface elevation data has been updated based on LiDAR data, which is taken from the land board. And uh, land board has generated it through airborne LiDAR. So I do have a point cloud. The point cloud has been generated or exported from Recap and I can generate based on those points a new terrain. All those tools are available in InfraWorks and for preliminary studies it makes a lot of sense. And also once you do that update you have more precise surface data and then you can generate different proposals. You can compare for example also in terms of quantities. If I move forward and uh, I will add, let's say, buildings from some local database, GIS database. They are now more precise and at correct elevation. Once this is done, I can do that any order, but it's good to use InfraWorks proposals in where you do something big, big enough that you want to keep the previous state live as well, and then you can quickly move back in time. If I move forward and show you again my roads model then I can pick my road and I can calculate quantities. I just uh, need to state that yes I want to calculate and if I generate different proposals I can easily compare those. How much I have in cut condition, how much I have fill condition. I can also select my intersection and I do have here different standards which are included by default with IntraWorks. But there are possibilities also to install some local content packs from different regions. And I can easily select different intersection types and I can change those dynamically using those parameters. And if I move forward, I can select my new proposal. And in here, I do have also a small bridge. Yes. And also for bridges, I can see quantity takeoffs. And I can remodel my bridge based on what type of components or materials it will have. And obviously 
I can change all those through my properties or I can select also different assemblies. And once again, I can export this bridge out and I can do a detailed design in Autodesk Revit. But those workflows will be taken into pieces in my future videos. So please do subscribe and also hit the bell icon and you get notifications about my new videos that I upload to my channel. Bye bye. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye bye.